While many celebrity careers feel like they take off overnight, Alexandra Daddario's did anything but. From soap star to Mayfair witch, she's working hard every day to achieve acclaim. Born in New York City in 1986, Alexandra Daddario always had something of an artistic sensibility. In fact, she told IMDb that she decided to become an actor at the age of 12 after watching Les Miserables on Broadway. In a 2019 episode of the Whiskey Ginger podcast, she revealed that her decision was largely rooted in the fact that she always enjoyed telling stories. Speaking with Interview Magazine, Daddario recalled that despite the fact her parents had both pursued legal careers, she received little pushback regarding her interest in acting. The actor attended the Professional Children's School, a New York City-based nonprofit school intended for kids between 6th and 12th grade who hope to become actors or dancers. The school encourages students to pursue their creative dreams and a comprehensive education simultaneously. And Daddario's attendance seems to have been a major first step in realizing her goal of professional acting. In 2002, Daddario first appeared on the screen as teenager Lori Lewis on the ABC soap opera All My Children, which follows the complex intertwining lives of multiple families. This job proved a rocky start to her career, however, as she got fired after just one year on the show. In an interview with Women's Health, Daddario admitted that, during her stint on All My Children, she still had a lot to learn about acting. She explained, I wasn't a very good actress. I could memorize my lines, but finding my camera, finding my light, even learning how to walk naturally, it took a lot of practice. Luckily, these days, she thinks of her time on the show as a learning experience. And even though she could sense something was off while she was on the All My Children set, her passion never waned. She explained, I knew something was wrong, but I knew I could fix it. I knew that I loved what I did and that I could be better. Luckily, Daddario was able to keep practicing her acting chops. And before long, she snagged small TV roles in shows such as Law & Order and The Sopranos. After landing a bunch of small TV and film roles, Daddario finally scored a leading role in the film Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Lightning Thief. In the 2010 adaptation of Rick Riordan's young adult novel, she starred alongside big Hollywood names like Logan Lerman, Pierce Brosnan, Sean Bean, and Steve Coogan. In a recent interview with The Wrap, Daddario described her time shooting the film as a very positive experience. She recalled, I loved it. When I stepped into Percy Jackson and got that job, I had no idea what it was. I was like a bit part actor in New York City, you know? I was a kid. I was working at a bar. She elaborated that her understanding of Hollywood was minimal at the time, and that working on the film was an incredible way to spend some of her early 20s. It was pretty much impossible to go anywhere in the year 2012 without hearing the Imagine Dragon song, Radioactive. For Alexandra Daddario, however, that was especially true. In the track's music video, she plays a girl who visits a mysterious fighting rink. The video was wildly popular. A decade later, it has garnered around 1.4 billion views on YouTube. Radioactive isn't the only music video in which Daddario has appeared. She was also in the video for Maroon 5's Wait in 2018 where she plays Adam Levine's fictional girlfriend as the couple goes through a series of surreal, absurdist acts. Wait probably isn't the best-known Maroon 5 song, but it has nevertheless received nearly 200 million views on YouTube. Imagine Dragons and Maroon 5 are certified megastars, but Daddario also starred in the video for a song called Whenever You're Around by the lesser-known band Bootstraps back in 2019. Sam Yeager directed the clip, and also appears alongside his one-time Parenthood TV wife, Erica Christensen. Oddly enough, Daddario had a guest star arc on Parenthood, although her character doesn't interact much with Jaeger or Christensen's. In 2013, Daddario became a bona fide movie star in director John Lessenhop's remake of the iconic film, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. In the modern update, Daddario plays Heather Miller, who travels to Texas with a small group of friends to collect an inheritance left behind by her recently deceased grandmother. The film saw a wide release, but was met with a mostly lackluster response from audiences who found the characters unlikable and the script corny. Critics liked the film even less and accused it of being filled with horror cliches as well as less than stunning visual effects. Still, Daddario doesn't regret her time attempting to fend off Leatherface. In an interview with Collider, the actor said, 
It's a Texas Chainsaw movie. It's supposed to be fun. I'm very grateful to have been in it. I had a really unique experience shooting the film. After earning recognition with her role in Texas Chainsaw, Daddario went on to perform in prestigious, exciting TV shows like HBO's True Detective. Daddario has claimed that her role in the show changed the trajectory of her career. In an interview with Collider, she noted that she knew that getting nude for the show had been a big risk and recalled that she, quote, didn't know what to expect. But it wound up having a serious impact. The day after her now iconic nude scene aired, Daddario got an exhilarating call from her manager. She reflected. She was like, the phone's been ringing off the hook all morning. The phone won't stop ringing. And all of a sudden, everyone in town wanted to meet with me. And then I booked San Andreas. The year after appearing in San Andreas, Daddario kept her career's momentum going by snagging a role in season 5 of the beloved American Horror Story. In 2017, Daddario got to be part of another fresh take on a well-known franchise. Fortunately, this one panned out a little better than Texas Chainsaw, as her turn as Summer Quinn in the movie adaptation of Baywatch became one of her most lauded roles. The film follows Dwayne Johnson's character, a lifeguard named Mitch, who is forced to confront a dangerous drug lord in an effort to protect his beach. The cast also included a long list of stars, including Zac Efron, Priyanka Chopra Jonas, John Bass, Kelly Rohrbach, and original Baywatch icons, Pamela Anderson and David Hasselhoff. The film saw very mixed reviews. Baywatch has a low 17% critic score, with many complaining that the film lacks the necessary humor and lightheartedness of a summer comedy. Others dubbed it CGI as clunky and called the pacing too slow. Much like the original Baywatch, the movie's not for everybody. However, folks with a specific fondness for the sight of famous people in swim gear running in slow motion seem to appreciate it. In 2020, COVID-19 took the world by storm and forced film productions to shut down indefinitely. One of the first films to go into production after COVID was declared a pandemic was Songbird, directed by Adam Mason and co-produced by Michael Bay. It went into production in July 2020 and was the first to shoot in LA after the start of lockdown. This is oddly fitting, as the film was actually inspired by the virus. Songbird takes place in the year 2024, during which time the government has turned into a fascist state that locks people infected with COVID into quarantine camps. Daddario plays a singer named May and acts alongside KJ Apa, Sophia Carson, Craig Robinson, and Bradley Whitford. Despite Songbird being a major milestone for COVID-era Hollywood, it was met with a largely negative response with critics calling it derivative, unrealistic, and exploitative. In 2021, Daddario got another huge break when she appeared in season one of HBO's The White Lotus, where she plays a journalist named Rachel staying at a Hawaiian resort for her honeymoon. The show was met with instant acclaim, with critics calling it a shrewd and addicting social commentary with a killer cast. In an interview with TV Insider, Daddario said that she'd wanted to be in the White Lotus from the moment she first heard about it. She explained, You could have given me any role. You could have told me I was going to play the beach monster, and I would have played it. The actor also noted that the White Lotus helped resuscitate her career, which she felt had stalled in the years leading up to it. In an interview with Cinema Blend, she admitted, In the couple years prior to the pandemic, I knew the work I needed to be doing, but it just wasn't happening. I was like, where am I going? Since The White Lotus put Daddario back on the map, the actor's plate has been full of juicy acting roles. One of the first TV roles she took on after her stint on the HBO anthology series was Mayfair Witches. An adaptation of Anne Rice's Lives of the Mayfair Witches trilogy, the series follows Daddario's Rowan, a neurosurgeon who learns that she is the heir to a bloodline of witches. Throughout the series, Rowan begins to learn about her new powers and deals with an evil force that has interfered with her family for years. The AMC fantasy thriller's first season aired in early 2023 and has since been renewed for a second. In 2022, Daddario returned to film yet again, starring in Wildflower, a drama following a young woman going through life with two neurodivergent parents. While it received fairly moderate responses from critics, the general public responded more favorably. It has a 93% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. 
Daddario also appeared in a 2024 adaption of the young adult novel, I Wish You All the Best. The story follows a non-binary teenager named Ben, who is kicked out of their house after revealing their true identity to their parents. Not knowing where to turn, they move in with their sister Hannah, played by Daddario, 